The following video is going to show you how to um, control movie clips with actions um, in Flash. And basically what I've done is I have created a movie clip, which you can see here. It's just a simple motion tween that goes back and forth, and it's actually stopped on the first keyframe, so this is simply just a stop action, um, just so it doesn't play. Um, all right, now... Uh, and I have created a button, which is just a circle. Now, in order to get these to work, I can simply, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create an actions layer, and I'm going to make this stop, just so everything is stopped, create a new layer. I am going to drag my movie clip onto the stage. I am going to create another layer and drag my button onto the stage. If I play this right now, my movie sip clip is just going to stand still. It is not going to play. And I'll just show you what that looks like really quick. You can see that it's just standing still. Here's my movie clip, here's my button. All right, so what I need to do is I need, I want my movie clip to start when my button is pressed. Um, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give my movie clip an instance name. So I'm gonna choose an instance name and I will just pick my move as my instance name. It's very simple, just my move. You can see right up here, my move. I'm going to go into my actions and underneath my stop I've already pasted this code so I create a function and I need to tell the function some code so I'm going to say my move dot go to and play to basically I'm saying my movie so this instance go to and play to notice the go to and play the to the second keyframe in this movie there's no stop action, so it's going to just continue to play. And then I call my button. So I need to also call my button with an instance name, my button. So now if I play the movie, the button should work, and it should make the movie clip start. All right, it started. Now, there are other things that I can do that I've showed you guys in class, such as visibility. So let's do play around with some visibility code. So let's say that we want our movie clip to be invisible at first. So I would type in my move dot visible equals false. That means that it's not gonna show up, it's not there. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say my move dot visible equals true. So that means on the button press, um, visible. On the button press, um, what's going to happen is the movie clip's going to show up. So let me show you what it looks like now. No movie clip. It's gone because it's invisible based on this false code up here. When I push the button, it's going to become true and it's going to play. There we go. Now, let's say at the end of this movie, I wanted it to be invisible again. How would I do that? Um, okay, so basically what I would do to have that happen, let me go to the next... Let me go into my library. All right, I am going to, just to make it easy, I'm going to create a new layer. Insert a new, a new keyframe on the end. And on the end, what I'm going to say is I'm going to say movie clip root dot my move dot visible equals false. So what this does is this movie clip root is saying on the main timeline, go to the main timeline, and now get rid of this. So if I play it, we see our movie. At the end, it disappears. And that's it. That's one way you can control movie clips in Flash. Thank you.